Significant figures is going to be a really important part of chemistry throughout the semester. So let's make sure that we have our sig fig rules down. And so if you take a look at the first rule, is if you read from the left and start counting the sig figs when you encounter the first non-zero digit, all non-zero numbers are significant. Okay, so in this case, all non-zero numbers are significant, which is why this says 3 and this says 6. And then zeros located between non-zero digits are also significant. And so that's why the 5004 has four sig figs, the 602 has three, and all these zeros in between the two non-zero digits are all significant. However, if we take a look now at number three. Sig, uh, zeros at the end are significant only if the number contains a decimal point, otherwise they don't count. So this 5.640, that's zero significant because there's a decimal. This 120,000, those zeros are significant because it has a decimal. But this 120,000 doesn't. And zeros at the end are, are significant if and only if there's a decimal point, and that's why that has two. And then if you take a look at four, zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit don't count. They are just placeholders. And so with this, all zeros to the left, regardless of your situation, will not be significant. That's why this only has three sig figs, this only has two sig figs, and even though it's all these zeros, this only has two sig figs. Let's now talk about addition and subtraction. And so your calculated value cannot be more precise than your least precise quantity. So when dealing with addition and subtraction, you deal with, it can't be more precise than the least precise. And least precise is the number of the fewest digits to the right of the decimal. So if you take a look at these three numbers that I'm adding together, the 11.1 .1 is the least precise because it only has one number to the right of the decimal. Therefore, you round to one decimal place. But if you have multiplication and division, okay, the number of sig figs in the final calculated value will be the same as that is the quantity with the fewest number of sig figs. So this is three sig figs, this is four sig figs, and this is four sig figs. So your final answer has to be with the fewest number of sig figs, and that's why it has to be this 27.2. And so you're around to three significant figures, and actually this should be 230 with a decimal point. That way, because remember up here, if it has a decimal, you count the zero to the right. But if there is no decimal, you don't. So since I need three sig figs, that's why I got to go 230 and then with the decimal.